it's so important to find those places of connection. What what recently has made you laugh out loud? Oh, we we've had a lot of opportunities to celebrate this mm -hmm. spring. Um, there were I, I mentioned and alluded to graduations. So Rebecca graduated from law school, and Hannah with her masters. Um, we, there was Mother's Day, and our daughter-in-law, this was her first Mother's Day. Um, so graduations, Mother's Day, there have been some birthdays thrown in there, um, and learning that we are expecting, we're going to be grandparents again. Congratulations. Yeah, that's, that was you. That's great news. That's, that's exciting. Awesome. So there's been a lot to celebrate and a lot of joy, and we've been able to, to make time to do. That's wonderful, and it's so important to find those opportunities to celebrate, mm -hmm. even at a distance. Oh yeah, we we do that well. <laughs> so, we, so we what are you that. looking forward to most about all of this being over? I think maybe the, one of the hardest things for me has been I'll be able to. There'll be choices again. Mm -hmm. I can choose. Mm -hmm. I can choose to go walk down the street to this restaurant, or I can choose to go over. You know. The other direction, I can choose to go anywhere or nowhere. Yeah. And that that right now seems to have been the, the one thing that was was taken away mm -hmm. from us to a degree was mm -hmm. um, op options yeah. and choices. Yeah, a little so more freedom. Looking to forward around. to having a bit more choice. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Obviously, we've we've barely scratched the surface here in terms of, of your story. Is there anything else you'd like to share with those who will view this video? Um, I think there, I think so. I think there's something that perhaps just that maybe many many of you don't know or wouldn't have guessed. But I have not spent a lot a lot of time involved in Bible study and um, spending time in, in, in devotion time or or having a specific prayer time or, or deep prayer life. So the, the little devotions times that I have been um, participating in are really from the, the book that we get at the church called These Days. And one one day in particular, and so I've, and I've struggled with the whole concept of the Trinity and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And there was one day in particular, because I couldn't get up, grasp that whole idea. And there was I don't think one many of us can. There was one one day in particular that I found helpful, and particularly for this time, um, that in in John chapter fourteen, this this particular author's take on the Holy Spirit was that the word really could be also used advocate, comforter, or the present tense of God, and that. That whatever translation you use, whether it's advocate, comforter, or the present tense of God, that the Holy Spirit will accompany us in and through everything that life might set before us. Mm -hmm. And that just spoke to me so much for this particular time and gave me a challenge to look for the work of the Holy Spirit in my everyday life life. Mm -hmm. And that gave meaning. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. It's, a, it's a helpful reminder. I, I've noticed myself even reading things lately that I've read maybe a hundred times and they just strike a different chord in our current context. And that's, that's such a beautiful reminder. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for taking time today to share just a small part of your story, Chris. If you'd like to connect with Chris, her information can be found through the member directory on the church website or through the Church Life app. And if you would like to be a featured guest on a future episode of Storied, we ask that you please be in touch with the church office. And Chris, would you like to, I'm kind of springing this one on you, would you like to help us with our sign-off today? Sure. Can I just read that? Thanks for tuning in. Until next time... Let us continue to uphold one another in prayer, remaining confident in the grace and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessings and prayers of peace to you all.